Okay, so at the time of this recording, there are five different options for parent intake forms. This is your basic speech therapy intake form. It's going to ask most of the questions that you would normally see on an intake form. Um, it is in a Google form format and it is completely editable. So if you, ne you needed to ask an additional question or had something specific for that child, you can go ahead and add, add a question just by clicking this plus button. Um, it has the child's name, what skills are you hoping that your child will develop, how does your child currently communicate. Um, there's some different um, ways of asking questions like this one is a scale. How well do you feel your child understands spoken language? Um, how well do you understand your child when he or she communicates? Um, how does your child react if you don't understand him or her? Child's favorite activities, anything your child does not enjoy. Um, it has some feeding, basic feeding questions. Um, what is your child drink using? And there's a check, you know, check box that you fill out. Um, allergies, medical conditions or diagnoses. It pretty much asks most things that you would expect in a common intake form. Okay, so this second form is a preference assessment and it is specifically to find out what motivates and what drives your student, um, what they're really into so that we can get them communicating. So I might use this if I'm starting um, a child on AAC or just starting to get them to verbally um, you know, request things. Um, I really like this form because it's basically a huge check checklist where parents can just check off things that their child likes. There's a whole bunch of options here, common items like blocks and ball and bubbles, and then sort of outside of the box items like spinning, um, swinging, going for walks. You just want to like basically find out anything the child is into, especially if they have limited interests. This way you know how you can motivate them and get them communicating. Then there's some open-ended questions as well, favorite toys, activities, food, snacks, and drinks, um, apps on the iPad, favorite movie or TV characters, um, and also anything your child does not like. And once again, of course, editable. Okay, form number three is the sensory stimuli questionnaire. Um, I use this for children who maybe have some trouble self-regulating and I'm trying to find some ways that will help them to be able to be more attentive and be more engaged. Um, I may use this for very early learners like um, under three years old or children with severe and multiple disabilities or autism. So again, that there's a lot of check uh, boxes here and a lot of common sensory things, bean bins, water play, squirting water, bells, sensory bottles, spinning objects, um, spinning themselves in circles, playing with food, loud noises, banging pots and pans, smelling things, sweet foods, salty foods, rocking, swinging, bouncing on an exercise ball, uh, fidget toys, flipping pages of a book, vibrating massager, uh, water beads, cutting paper. There's like a ton of sensory activities already listed here for you. Again, if you wanted to add something, you can go ahead and use that plus button because it's editable. Okay, so this is form number four. This one is really short and sweet, but it's a daily routine survey. So sometimes I'll use this if I want to support the family with like homework or ways that they can practice speech and language skills within the daily routines. So it just gives suggestions of different routines that they may have in their day. And it asks the parent to describe um, their daily routine. Um, and if there's anything else uh, they want me to know about their daily routine. So it's just a short and sweet survey. Okay, and finally, we have the speech therapy home survey. And basically, I use this survey to find out what a student has available, what resources they have available in their home. So you might use this if you're going into the home um, as for either a private client or, or an early intervention or CPSE um, kiddo, um, or even if you have a student on your caseload from school and you're wanting them to practice their skills at home, um, this will just let you know what resources they may have. So do they have any books at home? Um, do you have a gallon size clear resealable plastic bag? I tried to use items that like most families would have access to. Do you have a container with a lid? Um, do you have any, any of the following art supplies? Um, 
Do you have any of these common objects you'd be willing to set aside? Um, do you have any toys at home? List some of your child's favorite. Are there any snacks you almost always have on hand? Um, this is also great if you're doing teletherapy. This way you already know what the parents have. And once again, um, completely editable. So you can always add a question if you need to. So I really liked this one, especially um, last year when I was doing a lot of teletherapy.